white witch cupboard. It's not us anyway. That'd be out in Salisbury, I'd say. You're lost, so uh, here, join us. It's not that I'm a real witch of the 20th century kind. I looked it up on the internet for something to do. In real life, I'm a nurse at the NHS. Anyway, David, I was saying to you, uh, sh I should, you should read the applicable uh, deuterocanonical scriptures as well. Very descriptive and informative. You mean they could have proved influential to me? Exactly. Reading Midrash done me a world of good anyway. Unlike today, cycling all the way here to the middle of nowhere with ye two or three or... Well, uh, don't be so sure, Jesus, my water just broke. Well, you said it would be two for at least an order to it. Yeah, it must be about 40 miles to the nearest hospital. I'm trained in given open air birth. Is there any hot water left in the flask? Do you have clean towels, a pillow, and a pair of scissors? Right. Yeah, no, I'll read this one. I'll see what I can do. Sure. I can't get a friggin' signal for the mobile. Okay, hospital saying Sophie uh, died giving childbirth. Interior corridor day, Susan uh, has gone like century. Let me take you to see your daughter. Scene four. Davis lying in the sofa. Daniel is drumming the floor. Uh, Daniel. Dad, can I have a baby brother? Now, dear, don't disturb Dad when he's contemplating. Operator, yes. Can you get me to the store gate and see no pole? No, Daddy, it's a mistake. Oh. What? You mean they're not back yet? Do you want to leave a message on their answering machine? Dogs don't speak. They wouldn't understand you. Okay, uh, exterior street, midday. David is walking along and he bumps into Rose. Rose, is that you? David? Jeez, what are you doing here? Working as usual. I haven't seen you in 10 years, not since Jemmy died. That was tragic. I can't say I didn't think about you. I read a feature on you two years ago in the Arts Review. Yeah, I was pleased about that one. In it was mentioned a certain nurse, Susan something. I met her in hospital when Sophie died giving birth to Daniela. I see. David, here's my card, should you wish to contact I've got to go. Nice meeting you. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, kitchen scene. Basically, uh, Daniela takes poison and falls lifeless into the floor. Uh, scene seven. Suzanne just finds Daniela's body. Scene eight. Uh, street scene. Morning later. David and Raymond are walking down the street. <coughs> David's robot. Phone rings. Store Susan, special horror club space. Cut to apartment midday. David, uh, I'm peering out of room. Don't knock the door on it. I told you, I told I told you to throw out any lethal substances after we moved in. I kept it in case we had any pseudo intellectual friends of yours staying over. I kept it well out of her reach. She climbed up on that chair and found it. My fault. Don't say that. All this is happening too soon. I mean, Mum died just after the new year. Okay. Exterior street, outside morgue. David sees a Raymond emerge from the morgue, dressed in black, carrying a cat. David and Raymond are dressed in suits. They walk out. They walk out. Uh, morgue. Ghost of Sophie moves briskly towards Ghost of Daniela. If you want to try it, please. Yeah. As well. I've come to meet you. Mum? Well, I once was. You're not as blind into that anymore. All your new power is now even more independent and equal to every other power on this realm. You mean Earth? I'm dead. Yes. Where do you want to go? Out of here, anyway. Okay. Um, David is saying cross-legged. He does the brother's chant. Um, so I... Uh, O oh, blessed one, thank you for the precious treasury of compassion, the stores, for the people of peace. You, who love all beings without exception, are the source of happiness and goodness, and you guide us to the liberating path. Your body is a wish for a pleasant cheer, its reach is free, and you'll find better, and your mind is refuge for all living beings. But to the inner apartment, even Susan is lying on the sofa. Um, 
actually she she drinks more whiskey and she gets drunk as well. <coughs> Studio morning, David is on sketch pad, contemplating David. Uh, hello? David? Uh, I l listen, I can't speak right now. Do you want to see me this evening? Okay, bring me back at 4 o'clock. Okay, bye. Uh, I'll just be switching back to the interior bedroom. David and Rose are just waiting for us. That was a one-off. No need to break up your marriage. Me and Susan have an RHF. Well, no need to end it. I'm going to live in New York soon. It's already arranged before I got into you that time. Okay, it's two in the morning. David grabs his body and goes around. This is basically the sword scene. It's, uh, it's, it's a quite a movement. A friend of mine uh, who does that, actually, this guy played Jimmy, Mike Kensler. He, he wrote this bit. And I, uh, I don't know how to say. I see, Ray, you and your nurses haven't been figured. So basically, you really like them. You know, you know something. So uh, I, I'll get the sword, I'll try and get the sword and see if we can do it all night. So we're going to the apartment in the afternoon. David's carrying a briefcase. Susan is a glass of wine and cigarette. Do you want to have another kid? Remember, Sophie died giving birth to Daniela. We haven't had sex since Daniela died, and any social life we had has disappeared. I've been meeting with Ray, and this has to wait till after. Go and see a movie or something. Do try not to be such a girl. Go away, Mr. Ontario. Look, the underworld is not your smoke some more weed for me. Okay, bar evening. David and Ray facing each other, drinking coffee. Ray. Um, it's seen anything. Yeah, I've got it. It just keeps, it's the sweat of the thing that makes it uh, expand and lose it. Momentum is what keeps us in business. Otherwise, you are living in the past. You've gone through a difficult time. How, Susan? Just coping with things on a day-to-day -day basis. Perhaps we need to go on a holiday. My only absolute people away to try to deal with all these circumstances and issues through. <coughs> and I'm saying to go on a holiday, but don't stop work. Go uh, get once went on a permanent walk. Back then there weren't ever place to bring home bring him home. You don't have to spend all your time holed up in a studio, that's all I'm saying. There's a wrong way and a right way of doing things. When once is there, the wrong way might seem like the right way to survive. The might not want the wrong choice. Most are involved for fire is conditioned. Two elephants, male and a female, given birth to a candy bear, or maybe a top or top one. The first ambition is not just to be a long term um, or a space pilot. Galaxy and all that kind of stories for sure. And then I'd fancy of like uh, being a musician and end up with a drug problem. And uh, to make matters worse, my bass player, now so worse, has a hit single and he's on top of the pops. Remember that single B side was covered with the issues we didn't talk anymore. That was funny. Anyway, I poured and cast aside as a Fish food for the general mass. So. Uh, betrayed to the point of extinction so I could become cultivated to the point of renewal. Yeah, he's being he's being sort of surpassed. Mm. Um, sure. sure. People used to push me back when I managed to pull out of art school and come and tell me my career. First I'll be guys Jamie and Sophie. Now Danielle is fine. I feel like people came coming back. Maybe if I go to New York I can follow them to a bit more inside the uh, apartment like David Edges put his briefcase down. Susan Blind is a seven state in floor. Picks up the wall hot whiskey. Season. Do you want me to stop it after 10 minutes and just use that? Just keep going if you keep it's a stop. No, I'm saying if you... Oh, yeah, keep going, keep going. Okay. Do you mind if I join you? Okay, Susan puts... That should be Susan. Susan puts her arms around David and her back. Um, 
Okay, Rose picks up Paul Dawes custody, David Boucher in the service and Pete Rose. David, I'm leaving for New York in four days. I don't think I'll be coming back here again. It was good to catch up on all the Okay. Dana sees her sleeping bag. She goes to Daniel and stands inside. David tries to turn around and sits up with the little bag. David slowly enters. Daniel goes to the central room. Daniel. You'll soon be finished, Will. Don't worry. I came back here to help you. There's no harm for you on the other side. Never before. Am I gone at this time? Yeah, it's been uh, for a while. Um, and maybe it does make sense, maybe. Um, anyway, Daniela? Well, you're no longer with them. You're with me. And I'm dead. Apparently, you used substances. That was the last time before I did. I myself took some poison. It was classed as a, a misdemeanor. All will be for the better, just like Mum said. Uh, David's busy, Daniel's going to the street station. Where, where are you? Okay, uh, still your morning. Susan enters, sees David dead. Uh, she, I mean, so she takes his briefcase and slips. Uh, exterior. Outside building. Uh, David's ghost watches Rose and Peyton. Um, Sophie and Daniel are here. David. I've decided not to go with you. I want to wait until Susan's ready to go as well. Play it that way then. We'll see you later. Jimmy's been looking around for you. Okay, Davis goes to the table. At least your life is not for a running mess in all toxic things. Together in swimming forces. No longer can edge you into any of the coaches and issues. all of them are the way you think. That is to some force. I don't know if I can do that, but I can maybe think. Six twenty six. Susan. Um, it's with her. Susan Church. You notice infamous paranoid parents didn't even bother to make it here today. It's settled. I'll put David's remaining work up at auction as soon as possible. Anything I've sold for him already has at least doubled. What with the papers, stories, and all. Pregnant. Not David, so I didn't cheat. Uh, yeah. So it looks like no, I This takes me back to when I first met David. I was based in Manchester and was commissioned to oversee a private auction for the work of the then recently deceased James Harrison. Jimmy. I never knew him. Me and Dave got together a good bit after. Let's go for lunch. No booze, just coffee afterwards. Ray extends his arm and sees an interlocutor as they walk out of the camera frame. David and Jimmy's ghost here. I'll do this bit with David. Uh, goodbye, Susan, Jimmy. So. Here you are. Can we meet Alice Presley, the king? No. You see on earth I was familiar with his work but never got to hang out with him. Remember we went to that motorhead gig once? So maybe uh, I'll get an interview with Lemmy Kemmelster instead. You want to visit Rose with me in New York? Just like the old days. scriptures as well, very descriptive and informative. You mean they could prove influential to me? Exactly. Uh, reading Midrash has done me a world of good anyway. Unlike today, cycling all the way here to the middle of nowhere with ye two or three. Or that don't be so bourgeois. Oh Jesus, my water just broke. I thought you said one be two for at least maybe two weeks. It must be about 40 miles to the nearest hospital. I assume we're cutting the Susan line. Okay, all right. Uh, I see. Look, um, right. I see what I can. I can. I'll, I'll see what I can do. 
I can't get a friggin' signal for the mobile. Okay, it's the hospital saying uh, that's action. To your hospital, action. Susan, uh, his daughter. Okay, uh, but it's basically you should read Susan. Yeah, let me take this to you though. Okay, uh, Danielle and Susan, let's get that team from uh, David. Rose, is that you? David? Jeez, what are you doing here? Working as usual. I haven't seen you in 10 years. Not since the Jenny died. That was tragic. I can't say I didn't think about you. I wrote a feature on you two years ago in the Arts Review. Yeah, I was pleased about that one. In it was mentioned a certain nurse, Susan somebody. I met her in the hospital when Sophie died with birth to Danella. David, here's my card should you wish to contact me. I've got to go. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Okay, but uh, since there's no dialogue, since there's no dialogue, Danielle has died, uh, C9, C9, David, I've cleaned out her room. Don't lock the door on it. I told her to you to uh, any legal substances after you moved in. <laughs> I kept it in case we had any pseudo intellectual friends of yours staying here. I kept it well out of her reach. She climbed up on that chair and slammed it. It's quite cold. Say that. All this is happening too soon. I mean, Mum died just after this new year. Okay, uh, it's the board scene. Uh, Sophie and Danielle, uh, uh, let's get that as well. Uh, this is the uh, butter scene. So, uh, he's reciting, uh, Oh, blessed one, Shaki Ami Butter, precious treasury of compassion, restores and clean. Like you be loved, all be for the exception of the source you have in the and you guide it to the liberating path of your body to which will propel into your own speech to the supreme and purifying nature, and your mind is refuge for all of your people. Um, Susan drinks whiskey, and the next thing is he's 14. David? Listen, I can't speak right now. Do you want to see me this evening? Okay, we'll be back at 4 o'clock. Okay, bye. Okay, uh, Rose. This was a one-off. No need to break up your marriage. Me and Susan are married. Well, no need to end it. I'm gonna live in New York soon. He's already arranged before I bumped into you that time. Okay. There's the sword scene. Uh, there's one. I see. Ray, you and the wife have been figured. Okay, next thing. Susan. Do you want to have another kid? Remember, Sophie died giving birth to Daniela. We haven't had sex since Daniela died, and any social life we had is too I've been meeting with Ray. This has to wait until I Let's go see a movie or something. Don't try to eat too much. Go away, Mr. Alvaro. Tell me you love the underworld. Smoke some more okay. So, farcing, uh, Ray. Momentum is what keeps us in business, otherwise you are living in the past. You've gone through a difficult time. How's Susan? Uh, just coping with things on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything. Perhaps we need to go on all of it. The only outlets can be at work. We're trying to deal with all those circumstances and issues too. As a friend, I'm saying to you to go on holiday, but don't stop work. Look, go down once we're in a permanent <coughs> Then there weren't airplanes to bring him home. You don't have to spend all your time help, hold up in the studio, that's all I'm saying. There's a wrong way and a right way of doing things. Once the, the wrong way might seem like the right choice, the right way would not be the wrong choice. Um, most art evolves high art in this condition. Look, two elephants, a male and a female. Can't convert to a panda bear, but you could adopt one. My first vision was to be a space pilot, you know, like traveling the galaxy, you know, fantasy was the place. But I wanted to be a musician when I got older. And my ex bass player, well, <laughs> he quit, and I had an insane thought. And I was watching like Top of the Pop. With him on it. You remember that B side cover of Pip Richards? We don't talk on It's funny. Anyway, um, 
I put the cart inside and I become a fish feed for the masses. So uh, betrayed to the point of extinction so I could become cultivated to the point of renewal. Mm, yeah, right. Uh, well, people used to brush me away and I got through the art school and I met Jamie and Sophie. Now Danielle is gone. I feel pain from back and have all these fresh visions for the first time. Maybe if I go to New York, I can follow them too a bit more precisely. Okay, uh, night time in Susan. Uh, Do you mind if I join you? Okay, um, cut to bedroom, uh, rules, fix up phone. David, I'm leaving for New York in four days. I don't think I'll be coming back here again. It was good to catch up on old times. Bye. Okay, um, apartment. David and Susan are together. Dave turns around, sit up, sit up in the trance. Daniela, You'll soon be finished here. Don't worry, I came back here to help you. There is no harm for you on the other side. Never before am I gone at this time. I just realized these black things. Okay, Daniela. Well, you're no longer with them. You're with me, and I'm dead. Apparently, you use substances. That was long before I had you. I myself took some poison. It was cast as a mystical. All will be well for the better. All what? All will be for the better, just like Mom said. Where are you? See, it's like fourth dimension here. It's like they're entering. And this guy hasn't really realized. Susan enters and finds David. Uh, to exactly. So uh, he's a bit behind the jungle for a bit. I, I, I'll review my thinking. Uh, uh, David's ghost watches well with David. I decided not to go with him. Uh, I want to wait until Susan's ready to go to work. Say it that way then. We'll see you later. Jimmy's been looking around for you. Hey, David. Uh, at least your life is no longer a running mess. All cops and things together. It's a swirling vortex. Um, can I edge you into action approaching the submission, including all complete art and the bridge? Seriously. This way, the paintings will survive the end of the epoch. You and your time, you haven't been eclipsed. Okay. Uh, uh, did you notice not his, oh, did you note his infamous paranoid parents didn't even bother to make it here today? It's settled. I put David's remaining work up for auction as soon as possible. Anything I sold for him already has at least doubled what the papers and stories and all. Uh, I'm pregnant. Yes, I'm David. I didn't cheat. Don't cheat. Uh, let's take you back to when I first met David. I was based in Manchester and was commissioned to oversee a private auction for the work of the then recently deceased James Harrison. You mean Jimmy? I never knew him. Me and Dave got together a good way to Let's go for lunch. No booze, just a coffee afterwards. Goodbye, Susan. Jimmy. So have you... Can we meet Abbas Presley, the king? No, you see on earth I was familiar with his work, but never got to hang out with him. Remember we went to that motorhead gig once, so maybe I'll get an interview with Lemmy Kilmuster instead. You want to visit Rose with me in New York? <laughs> Just like the old days. <laughs>